Alright guys, so today we're going to talk about Sword Master Ken. Is he good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teamvash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. Oh yeah! This guy is my favorite ninja in the entire game. He was my favorite before the rework. He is my favorite after the rework. He is my favorite forever. My favorite ninja is the ninja that kills with swords. That will always never change. I love swords. I love ninjas that use swords. The only way this character could be better is if he had a full black ninja outfit. That would be amazing. But honestly, it doesn't matter because you're a shadow the entire game. The Eternal Shadow build is the new is the new one of the well a few of the new metas that you can use. Uh, and it's my personal favorite with this character. It is just incredible. This character is running with smoke bombs, which honestly I almost never use. Uh, there, you know, you can use it. There, there are some situations where I use it when I'm getting overwhelmed by groups of enemies, and I've already used my dragon slash. Uh, it's like use dragon slash, and then if, if you still need more AOE, you throw down the smoke bomb, and then uh, and then you keep going the dragon slash again. So, <clears throat> but as you can see in the gameplay, at no point was I ever overwhelmed enough with enemies to ever even need the smoke bomb once. It's really funny. Throwing stars, pretty much worthless. I use them for entertainment purposes only. Uh, sometimes sniping from long range is hilarious when, you know, using throwing stars. It's pretty funny. Uh, but honestly, the dragon slash and melee is the only thing you're really going to be using on this character. And you will be using it ferociously every minute of the fight. Just power, man. Power. This guy's nuts. So, why is Swordmaster Ken so good? Pretty simple. That commander perk, bro. Legendary Blade. Stronger than ever before. During Shadow Stance, increases your sword damage by 75%. Straightforward. They just packed all of his all of his old skills all into one skill. <laughs> and man, oh man, 75% sword damage is no joke. During Shadow Stance uh, also works out pretty good since you are going to be a shadow the entire game. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. All right, so let's get into it. Let's take a look at this character and find out what the deal is. The thing that makes this guy just shine, 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 shine bright like a diamond is the thing that makes him black as night. Nothing like a diamond. <laughs> the endless shadow. For each ninja that you have, it increases your shadow stance by four seconds. Now we're going to be running with four ninjas in this build. So we're going to have 16 seconds longer shadow stance. <laughs> this is so OP. So let's just take a look down here. After eliminating enemies, one enemy, with a melee weapon, you enter shadow stance for four seconds. Plus 16 seconds equals 20 seconds of shadow stance. That means for 20 seconds at a time, you're going to have 60 bonus armor and 15% movement speed. So you're just going to be tearing around the battlefield at a billion miles an hour. Just abusing enemies left, right, and center. And every time you get a melee kill, you just go back to 20 second duration. So, holy cow, man. Not to mention, Mantis Leap now gives you an additional jump and removes fall damage. And it doesn't require energy. So, like... Ninjas are in the best place they've ever been, ever. So, man, oh man, Swordmaster Ken has never, ever been so powerful. He has infinite Mantis Leap, Mantis Leap jumps for no energy cost. He takes no fall damage. He's got a shadow stance that is eternal, that lasts for pretty much forever if you're fighting. He's got a Dragon Slash which can be amplified by one of the most powerful new characters, well, one of the most powerful abilities in the game right now, Tale of the Dragon. This is Snuggle Specialist Sarah. She's rocking Tale of the Dragon, which gives the Dragon Slash a energized trail in its wake, which deals energy damage per second. So you Dragon Slash through the enemies, and you leave a burning blue fire underneath the path that you crossed. And anything that walks into that fire just starts melting and dying. Oh man, it's so strong. It is just a power ability. Uh, then you have Assassination with uh, Assassin Sarah. Uh, <laughs> dealing melee damage, 
grants you one stack of assassination up to five stacks. So it stacks 4.5% uh, per stack. 4.5 times 5 is 22.5. So you got 22.5 bonus damage on top of your 75% <laughs> damage for them having him as your main character. Just like insane. You've got anatomy lessons, which increases your crit rate on your swords by 15. This is Whiteout Fiona. Just nasty. Nasty. <laughs> more sword damage. More sword damage. More dragon slash damage. You've got your Fleet Foot Ken. I love to use him for the extra 12.5% movement speed because movement speed on this character is everything. The faster you get to the target, you know, the less damage you take. The more damage you do. It makes it so that you're never, ever, ever not attacking. You're just like attacking constantly all the time. Just attack, attack, attack. Next target, next target, next target. So fast, so furious. And of course, last but not least, we couldn't go with the fifth ninja because you can't run a character without survivalist jonesy this is what makes melee melee man you cannot die survivalist jonesy gives you the survivalist perk which means every time you kill something you heal for the next three seconds every single second you get health and if you kill something before the three seconds is up you just continue the duration it goes right back up to three seconds and continues to heal you and heal you and heal you giving that forever sustain that unstoppable just relentless attack and uh, in the in the the situations where you actually need a little bit extra push you got your hover turrets and a full heal with your adrenaline rush uh, man oh man this guy sword master Ken is he good god tier ultimate god tier character this guy is top of the top best of the best on par with any of the other ultimates line yeah, this guy's a champ, man. If you love ninjas, and if you love melee, you're gonna. It has a pretty high skill cap. Like you got to be a good player because you got to move real fast, and you need to be able to run circles around enemies and dodge attacks, and I just have spatial awareness, be paying attention to your mini map all the time, just like furious, furious offensive assault. But if you are a high tier player man oh this guy is going to destroy everything alrighty then so this is our sword master Ken we're going to be rocking a physical sword we're going to be rocking a fire sword and we're going to be rocking a water sword all the swords we can rock whatever we want we got every single sword in the game to showcase the awesome unstoppable power of the game's most powerful melee character. This guy, kill one enemy, become a shadow. Once you're a shadow, you cannot die. And your damage is just completely out of control. He gets a 75% damage bonus whenever he's in shadow mode. So he basically just wins instantly. Everything dies. The reason we're rocking a physical sword is because uh, the number one threat on the battlefield for a sword is a blaster. And if you kill the blasters fast, nothing's going to kill you. Yeah, all you need to do when you're a uh, Swordmaster Ken is wipe out the, uh, the blasters. As long as the blasters go down, nothing can kill you. What you got here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> he barely even gets a chance to shoot, and he's already done. Yeah, this guy is completely busted, man. Swordmaster Ken is an absolute monster. This guy's damage is unrivaled. He's got the incredible shadow sustain, so he just basically goes up forever. Uh, we could shadow even longer, but um, so having survival as Jonesy is an absolutely essential part of being a, uh, a melee character, because you are going to take some damage here and there. Uh, not a lot, because of your you know incredible armor and incredible speed. Uh, this guy, man, you just build him for speed, build him for straight up 
damage rock your Stazworth the third or whatever crazy attack speed sword you've got and just walk through enemies. Nothing can touch you. You're barely going to take any damage. You'll take some, some range damage if you've got some gunslingers around. Maybe some pitchers. Blasters are your biggest threat. Uh, so if you focus on uh, wiping them out, not really much anything to do to you. Use your... Uh, you got a dragon slash. <laughs> As if your sword wasn't powerful enough, you've got dragon slash too to lean on. Just insane. <laughs> we packed on uh, Snuggle Specialist Sarah to give you that extra burn effect. Because why not, right? Why not? Let's just like stack my damage with more damage. Really hit home. I usually go after the uh, the blasters first. Sometimes I'll use my... Uh, like this as an engage to get into the blasters. Once you're in close, pretty much done. That way you don't trip on any enemies while you're trying to get to the blasters quickly. You just dragon slash into them and then go straight for the kill. Hey, big boy, what's up? Clear. There are different ways that you can build this character. Uh, there is actually a much, much more um, dangerous version of this character defensively. Uh, if you want to be completely, completely unkillable, um, the Dim Mac build is actually probably your best bet. Uh, using Dim Mac instead of Eternal Shadow will definitely limit your offense. You'll you'll do less damage for sure because you're not going to have your shadow always up, and the shadow is a huge part of his offensive power. But I mean, you could still move fast enough to keep the shadow up almost perpetually, like all you know, whenever you need it. Um, because as long as you're attacking, you know, small enemies, you're always killing things every four seconds. So you're able to keep that, that shadow up forever. And when you have the Dim Mac, it basically makes it so that you have infinite, infinite shields. Like every time you, you have shields or your shadow is up, you're just regenerating shields constantly. Just tons and tons of shields. So the advantage um, is, is, you know, obviously your, your survivability is like way higher. Uh, there, it's <laughs> extremely unlikely that anything's going to be able to do anything to you at all however um, this build is way better offensively especially when you're fighting against smashers or big targets because when you're fighting big targets um, it's going to you know take away a lot of your ability to keep your shadow up right the shadow when you're fighting a really like a smasher it'll take you longer than four seconds you're going to end up losing your uh, your bonus your shadow bonus and then you're going to lose all that damage and all that protection and you're going to be vulnerable until you kill that that smasher. So uh, the other thing is that when you're fighting in combat, often you know team, not on purpose, but your teammates will be fighting with you and shooting, and sometimes they'll steal your kills. And if you're not getting that last hit, uh, your shadow armor can go down, and that leaves you really you know can leave you in a really bad way because all of your offense and your defense revolves around having that shadow up. So the eternal shadow just negates all of that, all that questions, all that problems like any any there's just yeah it's all out the window you don't have to worry about you know whether or not you're getting last hits uh, you just walk in and just murder everything and as soon as you hit that first guy you're gonna have this this shadow armor that lasts for just forever <laughs> it lasts so long like all right watch this ready come here we'll make sure we kill the last guy see the last guy yeah he is Okay, so watch this. We'll dra drag him over here so you guys can get a good idea. Just how crazy this is. Alright, ready? So, this is how long the shadow armor lasts. It's nuts, man. It's nuts. The shadow lasts for so, so long. We've got four, four out of five ninjas for the, uh, the eternal shadow. So, it gives you so much time to run around and do damage without you know so you have all that time so if you if you were not getting lucky and you didn't get any last hits you can last for that long you can just keep on fighting and fighting and fighting and not have to worry about getting that last hit it's pretty much impossible not to get a last hit at some point when you have that much time to do it as soon as you kill boom shadow activated and then you're unstoppable damage completely out of control 
Especially if you have the right sword for the job. Like we've got our uh, our water sword here, so I could just walk through these guys like they're nothing, like they're not even here. So yeah, yeah. If you're properly prepared, as a as a sword master can, you pretty much you're you're the most powerful sword user in the game. It's just no there's no if ands or buts about it. You, the it's the easiest to use. It has the least requirements for micromanagement. Uh, it's just a very brute force walk in, kill everything, have tons of armor, have tons of damage. Just just straight up, just simple, easy, crushing power. This guy is just disgusting. All right, looks like we're ready to go. The base is built. Ducky's got our back here. I believe he's rocking base Kyle, the most powerful <laughs> base constructor in the game. He's got our anti-smasher floors up. Beautiful. Look at this base. Gorgeous base. All right, let's do this. So these are nature enemies, so we're going to go and pull out our fire sword. You watch how fast these guys, this guy deletes. See you later, boys. You garbage. And of course, you'll you'll see me weapon switch constantly whenever I'm fighting physical enemies versus fire enemies. Use the right sword for the right job. Get the job done a lot faster. Where'd that blaster go? Take care of him. There we go. <laughs> See, we don't mess around, man. Smashers, nothing. Always use your physical sword. Whenever you're fighting the blasters, you're gonna make sure they die quick. Don't give them any freebies. Anytime you do take a little bit of damage, you would just regenerate it right away with survivalist. Go. And dodge. Get wrecked. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that damage sustained. When you're fighting smashers, always make sure you hit them and then dodge once. They'll only ever take one shot at you and then they'll go towards your base. So you just need to hit them, dodge them, and then destroy them. Oh, that one stage down. See? Nothing, man. Swordmaster Ken's a freak show. This guy. He's got such insane, insane pressure, such insane survivability, pushing power, just no worries at all. And man, oh man, am I picking the right mission for this? They got, uh, ooh, ooh, as a barrage. Yeah, no, 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 you guys aren't allowed to. No bomb in my base. This is where really Eternal Shadows is just in its element right now. Because there's so much travel time between enemies, I would be missing almost all of my uh, all of my damage bonuses. If you're ever fighting a taker who wants to charge at you, run at him diagonal, diagonally towards him, and you'll uh, cause him to miss. Kind of like when you ever see me attack, you'll see me always attack from the front and then rotate around their shoulder. It makes them miss so much. <laughs> Just dragon slash around. Hey, what's that? Bring it on. I'm gonna attack all sides of the base? No problem. I got you. Took some damage there. This is actually one of the worst ways for uh for uh for a sword ninja. Because a lot of their, their damage is um range, right? So you get hit without even seeing where the damage is coming from. It's a lot easier to fight something when it's up in your face. Oh, what's that? Run circles around you, buddy. Get wrecked. I love the new jumping mechanics. Being able to jump for no energy cost, taking no fall damage, allows you to get around the battlefield so fast, you just can't be stopped. It's so crazy. Good job, man. Ducky! <laughs> so, that is the Eternal Shadow. Swordmaster Ken absolutely unstoppable damage oh my gosh this guy's a monster you can't kill him you can't fight him you just can't do anything 
icing on the cake that you're using a sword which costs like I was using an obsidian sword which costs virtually no materials costs no bullets uh, you could use this all day every day never ever want to run out of weapons never run out of bullets uh, just the absolute like just god tier man this guy is god tier oh my gosh he's so strong just he honestly this character was my favorite my favorite ninja in the entire game pre hero rework and after the hero rework he is still my favorite ninja in the entire game this guy is for all you melee enthusiasts out there people who just love to go up physically attacking with a whatever weapon you want to attack with for me it's always been swords and he is the sword god man this guy is the most powerful sword wielder in the entire game if you want a ninja to feel like a ninja this is the guy you want to mess with Swordmaster Ken. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of the God Tier Swordmaster Ken. If you like this review, definitely like, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment down below if there's any other reviews you'd like me to cover. Catch you guys next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, every single morning starting at 9am. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel, so Come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Vash. Thanks, guys.